Okay, I mean, there's that, uh, you got his John Carpenter's The Fog. What a skate town you have, though. I don't know, but I'm choosing John Carpenter's yeah, The Fog because yeah, I didn't get to last time. <laughs> okay. Art Carney going in style. Art Carney? Yeah. Going like that. George Burns was in that movie, too. I hope I can see that. The Rocky Horror Picture Show, Sleeping Beauty. That's not the Annie I remember down here. No, I don't think that's the little orphan Annie right there. Uh-huh. Two well, massage parlor hookers. Little horny Annie. Twilight of Love. Oh, okay. that's like some good stuff. That's there. a triple feature. That is. Each one lasts 30 seconds. <laughs> children. A 30 minute break in between. Children of the 13 free. Yeah, there you mm-hmm. go. <laughs> okay. Here, just do it like this. Uh, <laughs> Put some popcorn uh, butter on there if you're having trouble. Kids don't laugh long, they don't got to pay. <laughs> Sit around and uh, play your video game, man. Fifth great week oh, of Star Wars and Empire, oh, but you got uh, zapped. Oh, yeah, that's true. Damn. That is true. Because right. you got oh, okay. Willie Ames and a whole bunch of naked females, or you got <laughs> Star Wars and Empire together. You got Heather for the first Thomas, time. all right? Heather Thomas. Oh, God. Yeah. But you got 70 mm. millimeter Star Wars as on the as it should have been seen. Okay, we'll go to see. But we Star said no Star Wars, didn't we? Yeah, I think that'd be the so. We're all going to see Zap. Zap. We go to ET, or we going to see Zap? I think we're going to see Zap. Zap. Yes, I used to watch Zap a lot on HBO. <laughs> Just to watch Scott Bayer do his eyes, you know, like when uh, trying to. And she can see him with the. Uh, you had to tell me about it. I made a video about it about his fake uh, Enterprise ship that was mixed with a Falcon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was great. Uh, <laughs> This is good as uh, Picard playing with one of the the ships from the Aliens toy line, and uh, one of the I think it was oh, Generations or I something like that. It was Generations or First Contact, I think. Oh man, and he was like you're showing him. He's a little kid at Christmas. Now I remember and he got the ship. ship. I yeah. remember. It was a it was a like an evac. Right. Now I go back and see evac ship or something like that. Hmm. I did a uh, video the promo video. You you'll probably like it. It's one where uh uh. Toy expert uh, reacts to movie scenes, and I did like the toy scenes and the uh, f- uh, four foot, forty year old version, uh-huh. and some other movies. You, you might like that one because well, breakdown was in the background there. Oh, right? that'd be cool! I think to that episode of Seinfeld where they're like playing with the yeah, story, I could, I, I should have done that one. That'd be a good one to do too. Okay, we got uh, the Ghost Story, Neighbors, Modern Problems. Absent of Malice with Sally Field and Paul Newman. Mm. The only one I don't know is Ghost Story. I've heard yeah. of it, but I don't know it. Fred Astaire? <laughs> Just don't yeah. Sound, don't sound like a Fred Astaire movie. I know, man. I guess he's doing it. I, I know remember. he did movies. I don't remember that, Neighbors or Modern Problems really being that funny. But. I remember loving Neighbors as a kid. Uh-huh. But everything I've heard about it since then is that it flopped. It was never no good. But yeah. I liked it back then, but I, I, was, I just I remember Modern Problems was when Chevy Chase got power. He like got yeah. He got like sick or something, or like he got exposed to something. Mm-hmm. And he got power. So Chevy Chase has the power to make this holiday season the funniest ever. So that's some power right there. I'd probably choose that, but you probably choose neighbors. Yeah, I think you see neighbors because back then I would loved it. But yeah. Sometimes comedies don't all look good. It's on the Twin Cinemas next to Porteus. Ooh. A lot of people don't know Porteus is just some guy that stands out on the street. <laughs> yeah. He's always there, though. Yeah. You can watch a movie. Are you going to watch a movie with him? That's Porteous right there. It's the Twin oh, yeah. Cinemas right next to him. Porteous. Whoa, that one's like maybe too small. Oh, know. my gosh. I see I one of my know. favorites. I see what you see. No, but I don't think you do see what I see. Oh, because not. You may not even know about this movie. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought you was the legal weapon. That's what I thought you were talking about. No, okay. but I do like I know it's a little blurry. Oh, so many. Go- oh, my gosh. So many good movies. What is this? It's too blurry. Is that that is what I was talking about. That is Hot Pursuit. Oh, the... uh. The comedy, the comedy with is that the one we always talk about. When well, my back is wet, <laughs> no, that's uh, modern problem. I mean, that's a moving violation. Moving violation. I know the name of. I know. I know. Hot it Pursuit is. was a John Cusack movie. Okay. And after Better Off Dead, um, I remember it, but the it name. has. Um, Let me zoom back. In. It's got Rip Torn in it. No oh, man. Yeah, I can't tell with none of them more. Um, John Cusack and Rip Torn. It was so good. I love that. I movie. Like see oh, that. and it's got a young Ben and Jerry Stiller as oh, the really? as the bad guys in the movie. Really? <laughs> yes. Dang. Well, I mean, that's just got it all right there. I would have to go see your Raising Arizona though. A Raising Arizona is pretty great. There are some good ones on here though. There's... On that, yeah. Secret of My Success wasn't bad. Uh, Blind Date was funny. But yeah, I like, weapon Lethal one. Weapon was great. Um, oh, was that Tin Man next to it? No, Tin Man, yeah. I, I, some of that Joe Piscopo and somebody else, I think. Yeah. 
Or unless I'm remembering. Oh, Richard Dreyfus. I could be wrong. Maybe. I can't remember Tin Man. I remember yeah. it being out. All Nighter? I don't know what All Nighter is. The All Nighter. What's Malone with Burt Reynolds? He liked to do those one title. Malone. <laughs> All Nighter, I think, is the one that um, starred uh, Hot Girlfriend of the Bangles. Oh, I didn't know she ever did. Creep Show 2. Is that the one with the uh, Roach scene? No, that was Creep Show 1. Well, the one had Ted Danson in it. That was Creep Show 1. Oh, shit, I must have never seen 2. Shit. <laughs> 2 was okay. I remember there was something. There's kids stuck on a dock out on the lake, and you couldn't get in the lake, or something would get you. What one had Stephen King in it? I can't remember. That's the chat. Maybe the first one. Dang, I guess I think it was the first one. But I remember this one girl fell asleep on the dock and she woke up mm. and she tried to pick her face up and it like attached herself to her face so she was all she couldn't get up and she was like ah that's freaking. crazy yeah anyway what was the secret of my ten, ten men I thought it was Richard Dreyfus and I don't know ten men Richard Matt, Dreyfus and Danny DeVito Danny DeVito yeah, you got it. I, th- I thought I remember Danny DeVito but I don't know why I thought Joe Piscopo was in it Joe Piscopo hey John Mahoney was in it Oh, yeah, he's, he's great on Police Academy. No, I know. <laughs> took you a while. I was trying to like, what the hell are you talking about? We need Police Academy. Okay, here we go. This one's a little, oh, God. I know what we're going to pick. We don't even have to really talk about this. Xanadu! Uh, well, actually, <laughs> I'm going to take you to see Song of the South. You probably would, wouldn't but, you? Yeah, I like Song of the South. I'm going to pick Flash Gordon. I know. That's, oh, you got a jazz singer now, don't forget. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick uh, mm-hmm. Flash Gordon. All There's, seats are a dollar. George Lucas would have picked Flash Gordon. Yeah, Flash Gordon. I haven't seen that one either since I was a kid. I did love it back then. It looked like it might be kind of corny. Didn't that it? was a trivia. That was the final trivia question this week. It was like, what movie did did, did um, George Lucas not get the rights to, so he made Star Wars instead? Oh, that's easy. Yeah, but I'm like, but at the same time, I'm like, I wondered why he couldn't get the rights to it. I'm like, well, did the De Laurentiis already right. have the rights to it to make their movie, or no? Because I think I think they got it later. Oh, weird. I wonder why he couldn't get the rights because I don't know. I wouldn't mm. thought they would have spent like a ton more money. Yeah, I'm glad he didn't. <laughs> I'm from both sides because I enjoy Flash Gordon. No, oh, yeah, well, yeah. Like I said, I hadn't seen it. Hopefully, it's it's Zanadu. still as good as I remember. Xanadu, I would not go. I knew a girl that didn't want to go see Xanadu because she was convinced it would be better than Star Wars, and she wanted Star Wars to be her favorite movie. Oh wow, <laughs> that's a true story. It's one dedicated girl. Mm-hmm. Oh, one I can actually ninja. see. The big chill. Oh. It's got everybody and her oh. mother in it. Look at this. I know Mr. Mom, chill. baby. Mr. Mom. And vacation. Oh, vacation. Oh. Vacation's going to be hard to beat. Night of the Living Dead. Ooh. And Meat Cleaver Massacre. Meat Invasion <laughs> of the Flesh Hunters. And Dust Till Dawn. Another one called Dust Till Dawn. Unless that's what they're playing. Like maybe they're playing all those movies from Dust Till Dawn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That would be kind of awesome. Because there's a bunch of scary movies cool. the way yeah. tonight. Oh. Strange Brew! No! Oh, my God. Okay, that's my pick. Strange Brew. I'm going to pick Vacation. Okay. Although Mr. Mom is right it. there, yeah. Although, Revenge of the Ninja. Oh, yeah. Dad, if I Baby, it's already. you. Baby, it's you. Baby, it's you. We'll be you. back after this short message from our sponsors. Baby, it's you. Baby, it's you. Junkmanmerch.com. 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 There we go. Okay, we're back below. Yep. 94%. Okay, what is Deadly Game? Deadly oh, Games, I just remember, was with like a horror thriller movie. Strange Brew. Some, a lot of people getting killed, man. Hmm. That's a special preview. Nightmares, I do not remember at all. What is this? Oh, zoom in. What's this walk in? Ain't all walk in theater. Ain't all theater just walk in. in theater. Okay, Little Women, Pride and Prejudice, Staying Alive, Octopussy. You just show up at that theater, no time slot. Just, huh? Yeah. I'm here. Just Golden going Seal, in. Chained Heat. Chained Heat. Chained Heat. Ugh. The Draftsman Contract. Heavy Metal. I, don't want, I wouldn't see Now, now and Forever with Cheryl Ladd. Yeah. Man, that's, uh, yeah. That's Sorry, Cheryl. You can keep that one. Yeah. Or Baby Is You. Okay. Uh oh. Again, see how movies were back then? Dude, look at the freaking movies on that left column. God. <laughs> the private what? eyes. Seems like old. One times. over here. I went to see it at the theater. Well, that, actually, I seen two at the theater. The Incredible mm-hmm. Shrinking Woman. Oh. Stir Crazy. Nine to five. You don't skip weekends like this anymore. Oh, man. Oh. Fast times. Mm. On Golden Pond. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Dude, I, they're here. It's not what you 
Yeah, that's not what scares you. Pull the case. I really love Seems Like Old Times. It was a good movie, too. Mm. There's a lot of early Chevy Chase movies that didn't. Yeah, I forgot about that. People one. don't know anymore. Yeah. Oh, Poltergeist up there, too. Yeah. What's up, Blood Beach? That's by the way. I don't remember that. that. I don't know. Just when you thought it was safe to go back to the water, you can't get back to it. Blood Beach. Distributed by the Jerry Gross Organization. That does <laughs> not sound that? like a real movie. <laughs> It sounds like somebody just like paid somebody to show that movie in their theater. Oh. I don't know. Okay. Well, oh, who man. scares? Hmm. If dolls can kill. Nine to five and fast times, man. Hmm. I went to see Private Eyes. It's the first movie I've really? ever seen with just me and a friend. With. Don Knotts and Tim Conway. Yeah, I loved it. You're I standing in Bull Caca. I don't nothing about it. I bet it's That's the only thing I remember is they were, in like the, they were like reading a note they found in a stable. And they were like, P.S., you're standing in bull caca. I think I remember that. <laughs> I just said it. I, oh. bet it's, I bet it's horrible now. What would you pick? Fast Times, I think. All right. I'd pick Fast Times. Or, I don't know. I like 9 to 5, too. So we ended up going to see two movies. Stir, stir Crazy, though. I love Stir, stir Crazy. Stir Crazy was yeah. good, yeah. I think the first half of Stir Crazy. It's one of those movies yeah. by the end of it. I was like, oh. We bad. Shrinking we Woman. I like the girl with Shrinking Woman. I did, too. God, that's a good We just did movies all weekend there. Uh, Charlie Grodin. I mean, Charlie Grodin, like, mm-hmm. Monopoly. Yeah. It seems like old times and the Incredible Shrinking Woman. Uh, for those who loved it. For those who missed it. Oh, is it coming back? Is that a re-release? Uh, maybe. Sounds like a re-release tag. On Golden Pond. I want to see old go- on Golden Blonde. Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, it's small. Did we do this one already? Yeah, yeah well, that was the first one we did. We did already come around the horn. I think it should stop. Okay. Now, these are some oh, hey, there we go. Can see them. Man. You got Ghostbusters, the Terminator, Supergirl, the Karate Kid, all of me missing in action. What, Tightrope? Ghostbusters Damn. again. Dune. Uh, Dune. The Terminator. 11, 11 Unstoppable, Unstoppable Weeks. Hell uh, Over. Oh, Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> City Pink, Heat. Pink Floyd's The Walk. Johnny Dangerously. Johnny's Dangerously. And here's one I would go see. Runaway. I love that movie. Runaway. I know you do. Cotton Club. Mickey and Maud. God. Dudley Moore, a Dudley Moore comedy. <laughs> Johnny Dangerously. God, what a weekend, man. 2010. Man, oh man. 2010. I don't know. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, Ghostbusters, Karate Kid. and just, See, it's, it's hard because a lot of these I've seen in the theater several times, so it makes me like want yeah, to go. Ooh, I see Belly Hills see. Cops up there, too. Mm. Purple Rain! No! Oh, God, I go see Purple Rain. Breaking 2, Electric Boogaloo! Oh, that's it. We got it now. Oh, man. I think I've never seen the Terminator on big screen. I don't know that I have either. I don't know. I, I think I'll have to go see that. Yeah, we'll, we'll go see the Terminator. I try to put my mind frame in whatever year this is. Oh, how did I miss all of me? Oh, I did go see that at the theater. Steve Martin and Lily Tomlin. Me and my grandma went to see that. Back in the Bull. Hmm. Oh, my gosh. It's just classics, man. So much good stuff. Uh, okay. Never meant to call you any trouble. Run away. Hmm. God, look at it, too. They can really fit all in the square. Electric boogle. Man. <laughs> I remember somebody went over to like my first sleepover party and they we watched Breaking and Breaking Two, and we were like, "Oh my God, these movies are awesome!" Ah, uh, love some Breaking movies. Never come back to my friend's house. Alfonso Shabadoo. Okay, we got Seems Like Old Times. There we go. The Aristocats. Any which way, Any you, which can. way you can. Stir crazy. Damn. Oh. Any which way. I think I would have to do any which way you can. It's pretty good. I'm going to have to stick with Seems Like Old Times. That is the original, not the sequel, right? I get all mixed up. Any which way but loose. That was the sequel. I think that is the sequel. That's the no, sequel. no, no, no. I, I think that's know. the first one. That's the first one. Any which way but loose is the second one. Yeah, I think you're right. Who's saying that? Is that any rabbit. which way but loose. <laughs> any rabbit. Me. Was it Amy Rabbit? <laughs> it any any rabbit. which way but loose. Uh, so you have your, your things that oh, you remember country, too. Yeah, 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 I can do that. Old, old I remember, that. Why do I remember that song? Why the hell do I remember that song? I don't know why you song? wouldn't remember it. It's a great song. What about Bronco Billy? We're going to find Bronco no, Billy over here somewhere. Bronco Billy. I like Man. That. When he was with that blonde girl that was in all his movies he was mm. married to for a while. Sandra Luck. And then he got divorced and never saw her again. Yeah. <laughs> she never was like you know, like very attractive to me either. I'm just like, <laughs> he can okay. do that better. Even as a kid, I can remember thinking, God, he can do better than that. One um, Sandra, it was Sandra with an O. Yeah, Clint Eastwood is still kicking ass today. Though. He is, man. Although that last, did you More see the mule? I like the mule. I have not seen the last one we did with Dwight Yoakam. 
Oh, that's the one I was thinking. The mule I like. What's the one with the white yoga one? Ah, that's what I was thinking of. Oh, it was like one it was Crime Macho. Yeah, it was just wasn't about nothing. I just could not believe when I watched it. Crime Macho. And I was okay at the end because they were sitting over the end and then it just wasn't nothing. But hmm. I watched Grand Torino the other day again. I God, God so is good. good. Man, that's a good movie. <laughs> no. I was like, God, he's about the only one you can think of that's as he got older, he's still great. He's still doing good stuff. He is. I sit there. Oh, well, he's more directed now. I grin, Torino. Oh, yeah, I he's the best singer in the world. Yeah. <laughs> he really wanted to be, didn't he? I mean, uh, he was a, what was the one? Oh, Honky Tonk Man. Tonk Man. Was that, I was thinking that's not the name of it. Put your yeah, arms well, around this Honky yeah. Tonk Man. I remember I went to school and it was a little, it was a black kid. Uh-huh. And I guess he probably didn't know nothing about country music. And he was like, man, I love that Honky Tonk Man song with Clint Eastwood. <laughs> I don't think he knew he was seeing that. <laughs> With his son, yeah. Kyle. Uh, his son does. He got another son, or is that the same one? Scott doing now? is the one that's doing yeah. movies now. Okay, yeah. Kyle was going to be a lot older. Than, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this one's big. Let me size this one. Remember that I see some guys. Oh. Man was where he had tuberculosis. Yeah. That, oh, zoom out. Oh man. Okay, we got the a black hole. I don't know. They got Roller Boogie. The Electric Horseman. Boogie. We got Star Trek The Motion Picture. Hell no. <laughs> it's not, well, everybody hates The Motion Picture. No. We got The Road. I'm thinking The Black Hole. Black Hole. I, I went to see that and that was a bar. I fell asleep during it. Ernest Borgnine's in it. That's true. And yeah. Robots. I would take you to see The Electric Horseman, I guess. Uh, <laughs> if you don't like Star Trek The Motion why Picture. Why not? I don't remember nothing about The Electric Horseman. I, so I remember not? my dad had the uh, soundtrack on the album. And that's how I discovered the song, Mamas Don't Let You. Baby, Baby Grows a Cowboy. Yeah. Cowboy. <laughs> so, you know what drives me crazy is I listen to Americana Station in town, oh. and they play um, Poncho and Lefty all the Ooh. time. Yeah. And it's by Great some song. other, it's not the It's uh, not going by Willie and Waylon that, or the, the Highwaymen. It's, uh, yeah. it's by some other dude, and it's terrible. Like newer? It's, yeah, it's like some uh, new. It sounds. He sings it exactly the same way. His voice just is not as good. And I'm like, every time it comes yeah. on, I'm like, I love this song and I hate this guy singing it. <laughs> yeah, no way I can do it. I think Ben Zant. Somebody did it first and that wrote it. And did it before the Highwaymen? Yeah, I did it before, and it was he was the guy that wrote it. Ronnie Ben Zant, I think that was his name. Yeah, that was the guy that was the lead singer of Leonard Skinner. Yeah, I know what this. I think that's who it was. I could be wrong, but it was, wasn't as good. And then I think Emily Lou Harris did it before. Willie and Merle. And she would be good doing it. Merle wasn't one of the highway men. Just no. I know. <laughs> Merle was always his own but nobody, cat. But nobody can do as good as that. He would, he would do duets and stuff with other people. Merle was always his own dude. You know? Yeah. Was, you know, um, Her. you know my cousin, the, the, the one that's married to the, the famous mm-hmm. guy, you know, um, he got uh, Merle Haggard. He never met him or anything. I don't think he ever got oh, to meet him, yeah. but Merle Haggard sent him, uh, sent him a doobie that he still has. Oh, he's got it framed. Man. He That's said something about he wasn't feeling well, so he's sorry he couldn't meet him, but he sent him he sent him a joint. And I thought that was the coolest that shit more like ever. That's how I'm more like a Willie Milton thing. I'm like, this is what long ago I learned about this, and I still like the coolest shit I've ever heard of, man. I'm like, this is Merle Haggard's joint. I'm like, this is yeah, the freaking cool. holy grail of like <laughs> items right here. I'm like, yeah, that's what I you so, stand powerless against the power of Merle Haggard's joint. <laughs> I was say more like Willie Nelson. Yeah. Uh, okay, shit, how many more do we got? Uh, let's see. We got Peggy Sue got married. Dude. Trick or treat. Aliens. Oh the fly God. double feature. I don't even know. The fly and aliens <laughs> double feature. I mean, my gosh. You almost really have to do that. I love Crocodile Dundee. I love Crocodile Dundee. I love Stand By Me. I love, love Jumping Jack Flash. Uh, I really do. I love that's Man, early Whoopi Goldberg before she never had an opinion was just like, you know, so good. But man, I don't know how you deny that double feature. Money. And and I love Trick or Treat. That was one of the cheesiest horror. Yeah, the Trick or Treat. Guy. It's like the the dude from the metal albums was like the the guy. Like he came through the girl with headphones and like melted her ears. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Trick or got married ain't bad either. Was that Nicholas Cage? In yeah, it wasn't that. That no. wasn't great either. Though. No, it wasn't. It was. It was watching. weird. I remember watching when I was a kid. And I was like, this is weird. Oh, man. That is hard. I love Jumping Jack. Well, I mean, I can't deny. I can't not go see Aliens and the Fly. I mean, it's a double feature. Yeah, double but, feature. but if I had to pick one or something, I'd probably pick Jumping Jack. Play. I think I want to see Stand By Me on the big screen. I saw Stand By Me on the big screen. So I remember that. I don't think I've ever seen, or I've probably seen it you know, back in the day, so I don't remember. The uh-huh. Fly. I don't remember much about it. Oh, I remember. It so was, I, I remember it was because it was like, probably, it was like, 
gorier than any other movie yeah. you had seen before that. Because Although, I, all thing I know about it is it wasn't as good as The Fly 2. Yeah. <laughs> With Eric Stoltz? No. <laughs> yeah. But I just remember it was so weird because he'd like, he'd like vomit stuff on people and it would melt oh. their arms and all oh, that. Oh, yeah. It was... You go, Goldblum. Gump Man yeah. Channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited <laughs> testimony. <laughs>